So last week I made an Animal Crossing video and I swore it was gonna be a one-off, I wasn't gonna do it again, but I'm gonna do it again today. It seemed like you guys liked it. I'm kind of obsessed with Animal Crossing right now. I'm not gonna become an Animal Crossing channel, don't worry. I promise you will get plenty of Sims content from me. But I really wanna play Animal Crossing right now and if I make an Animal Crossing video, then I can be like, no, no, it's work, it's my job. Um, to decorate houses in Animal Crossing, so... I'm just so busy today. <laughs> no, but I want to play the DLC again. So in the last video, I had us decorating a restaurant in the game, because the new DLC lets you, like, go to work and be basically an interior designer, which is right up my alley. But I think today, I want to do a house for somebody, and then we'll have covered all our bases. I'll have shown you, like, the community lot part, and I'll have shown you the house part, which is all you need to know about the DLC, right? That's why I'm doing this, for educational purposes. So you can see the DLC, right? Oh my god. Oh, I have some cute villagers here today that want houses. This is kind of exciting. Okay. Well, this is the cafe that I made. I didn't show you this last time. Marina works here, but there are a couple- <gasps> Oh, I could do a house for Flurry too. Okay, sorry, it's it's kind of hard to walk around in here. <laughs> Please disregard that. I know it's a bit, it's a bit cramped. It's not my fault. I came here because I have a job to do. I didn't explain the DLC. Basically in this pack, you can run this like island resort and then people pay you to decorate houses. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, well, I'll be buying this mirror. <laughs> You're coming home with me. And then I think I uh, I already have the table. The Zen bench is 25. Okay, I also want the cash register. So I really have to, I have to get to work. I have a job to do. Yes, please. Okay, get your head in the game, Simsy. A daycare? <gasps> what? Wait, that could be fun. Daycare, the arid place you grew up, nah. Dreamy to read quietly in a room filled with plants. Hmm. Furniture to be stylish and functional. Are you gonna beat me up? Is she like, <laughs> I think she's you want a place but you never run out of your favorite drink. Okay, I don't want to do that. I also really don't want to build a house for you. A camping? Okay, outdoor retreat. Well, what do I want to do? Uh... The plants and the daycare really, really excite me. I think the daycare most excites me. I hate the kangaroos. I'm not kidding. I have literally never hated anyone more than the stupid kangaroos in this game. Look at how the her and her little mini me blink at the same time. It's creepy. I hate them. The kangaroos are enough for me to quit playing this game. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I hate it. I hate them. A homey daycare dwelling. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. Okay. Choose an island for the client. Hmm. Well, the problem is you want a daycare, so it probably shouldn't be, uh, <laughs> like on the beach or something, you know? I, I feel like we might want this to be a bit, um, maybe I'll put it here. I just, I, we don't want any water hazards. Doesn't seem safe for the mini kangaroos. Just a thought. Well, I did pick one that has cliffs. But look, y you know, that's fine. Cause we can put a fence, okay? It's fine. <laughs> okay, so this is the lot that I picked. We'll have to put some, some more pathing and fencing and stuff down for it to work. It looks like it's already got some, some of this brick path. So I probably should just continue it, right? As opposed to picking anything super fancy, I probably should just keep it going. <laughs> oh, I'm worried about, hmm, maybe I should pick the fence first. I'm just thinking I'm worried about this place being boring. <laughs> So I need to make it look more interesting. This is okay though. We can put the brick fence, right? Or is that too tall? Oh wait, oh no. Wait, help, what's too much? This little fence is very cute. It has some colors, but maybe I should just do like a white picket fence. Cause that way we can sort of decorate with other stuff. Okay, I think I'm gonna do it like this. Maybe I should have put like a little wider sort of patio in front. Maybe I'll make this whole space into a patio or <laughs> it's kind of ugly. <laughs> Oh, besties, what do I do? I've seen so many people do like such impressive things with this on Twitter. And then I feel like I've come in and just made it stupid. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I feel like every it always feels that way about your own work though. You know, whenever you're the one doing something, of course it feels stupid because it was you that did it. I was gonna put some dirt down so we can pretend it's like dirt underneath planters or something. I'll admit this does seem a bit dangerous, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking about the fact that there's not a stair railing and there's gonna be babies here. It does seem less than ideal, but that is okay. I feel like apple trees very much give me like, this is a school. Does that make sense? <laughs> no, you get it. 
You understand. Is there playground equipment I can put outside? <gasps> oh my God, this is the best day of my life. Okay, this is really small. <laughs> this is fine, this is fine. Let's put this guy over here. You can scoot it like back into the corner. It's not like anyone's actually gonna play on it, you know? So it's fine. I'm not sure about the color scheme here. Oh, maybe the red's better. Well, this is the thing. We could probably, if there's not a different color of that, it has to be blue. Okay, probably have some like tricycle parking down by the front. <laughs> <laughs> the kids rode their tricycles to school, you know? This isn't even like a school. This is a house. This is a home daycare. I may be getting a little bit ahead of myself. I, I really don't know how to tell if what I've done is too much. Does that make sense? Well, I'll, it's fine. We'll figure it out. I want to put some bushes over here. Kind of like they're a fence, basically. It's sort of what I'm envisioning. Instead of having a fence there, we have bushes. Oh, I have no idea what color flowers to pick. Where did that go? Oh, down there. Oh, I forgot about that area too. I might do like mostly yellow and white flowers. I feel like that'll that'll be good. We'll have like blue bushes, red apples, yellow flowers. Oh, I like that. I think that's cute. I mean, I know I'm one to talk. <laughs> I can call it cute all I want. I'm the one who made it. Are there like signs? Oh, there's some weird stuff here. <laughs> like the kind of scary looking dollies and stuff. Oh my God. I know you can't see it because it's behind my face. I unlocked the froggy chair. I can get the froggy chair. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be using that. Oh, maybe I should change the color of the building quickly. I was thinking maybe a red roof and then, oh, maybe not that yellow. Ah! <laughs> Oh no. Maybe we could do like the red roof, the orange siding, and then would it be weird to have a blue door? I think I like it with the exception of the roof. I don't like the roof. Maybe that would be good. I feel like that kind of matches the, the rest of it. Okay. Okay, I want to put some yellow flowers down here. I'm kind of thinking I'll, I'll basically like alternate the yellow and white flowers. It's only four, but I think that looks kind of good. I feel like I may have done too much. <laughs> I don't know how to tell how much is too much. Can you get out of the way? And then you can stay back there. It's you that I want to leave. <laughs> is it weird to have the tricycles down there? Maybe I'll just have one tricycle down there. <sighs> okay, I'm thinking like a toy box and then maybe a table or, oh, these this lecture hall bench might make sense out here. Does it come in blue? No, ew, Never mind. <laughs> Not the lecture hall bench. Maybe the public bench. Yellow and blue? Oh, that matches the rest of the furniture. Okay, so I kind of have it like this right now. The froggy chair I might use inside instead of outside, unless we could put the froggy chair with the, no, 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 it looks weird. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, maybe a trash can would make sense outside. If we put it like down by the, oh, you can't really get it down in the corner like I want it to, Never mind. <laughs> That's ugly. Well, maybe I could just leave it open so there's space for playing. I feel like this actually looks pretty good. I need to remember that it's okay to have space to walk. Like, it's not a bad thing if you can walk through a space. Okay, and then on the inside, we have a couple required items, which is okay. I mean, I can make this work. I think step one, I do want to expand the building because I'm thinking about putting a partition wall. Obviously, this is what, what Marcy, I mean, wait, who is here? I don't remember the name of the villager that wants this, but that's not my problem. Carrie, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, I'm gonna put, I was thinking about making a kitchen, okay? That was kind of my thought process. Okay, I think basically at this point, what I'm trying to do is put like a fake floor on a different side of the building. And then we could have carpet in the other one. I swear it'll make sense. It's cause you can't have like two separate floors. So if we want the floors to look different, we have to like, you know, make them different by doing something fake, <laughs> like a rug or something. Green retro floor. Thoughts? Orange retro floor. Oh my God, no, I want the colorful puzzle piece flooring. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, that's so good. Yeah, we can have like two separate rooms kind of like that. I mean, I look, I wish that you couldn't see the puzzle pieces from this side, but that's okay. Oh God. Maybe it would be best if we had like a solid color in here, like if it was all yellow. And then I guess we could do like maybe a striped wall on one of them. That's kind of fun. Or if we did like a different sort of vibe. It's a hallway wall. So that looks like a school, right? Okay, there's things like this adorable little children's books. We do have some kitchenette type things and I have a stove. I don't know why I wanted to put a kitchen on the other side. In my head, I was just sort of imagining like, oh, it would be so cute if we had a kitchen. Cause like, I don't know, they have to make snacks for the kids or something. So like, I, I understand that we don't actually probably need it, but maybe it would be nice. Or maybe we could put the whole kitchen like against the, the wall. Oops. It was like that. Is there another tiny counter piece? <laughs> this is an office cabinet, but maybe it'll match. I feel like there's so much room to be more lenient with bad things like this in Animal Crossing. Like in The Sims, this would absolutely destroy me. I would be devastated. I might've cried, but in Animal Crossing, I'm like, we don't have counters. 
It's fine, who needs them? Yeah, I can put the microwave on top of that. That's good. I feel like I need a light or something too. Sure. <laughs> you can't change the color. So you only get to change the color of one wall, right? So I, I can change the whole room and then have one accent wall. So I can't change the color of this like hangy guy, the middle room, I mean. You also can't put wall decorations on it, which is annoying. I mean, it's fine. It could be worse, but I would also be happier if I could put wall decorations on it. Oh, we'll have to put the high chairs in here because it's going to be like the kitchen area. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, look at this. I'm having so many ideas. <laughs> wait, wait. I really like that on that wall. Maybe I'll swap it. Huh, can you like double stack rugs? No, dang it. <laughs> I was hoping I could put the apple rug on top of the fake wood floors. Uh, she just had a, I think, negative reaction to this plant. <laughs> First of all, that was rude, because I liked it. You don't see me having negative reactions to your plants, unnamed pink kangaroo. I'm very nice to the plants you pick out. Oh, we can change the fabric color. <gasps> that one has ducks. Okay, maybe that's too much yellow. Well, I'll pick like two different fabric ones. That'll be good actually, I think. That'll help them stand out against the wall more. Okay, I've got, how about the little wall poster? How about an orange clock above the door? Or should I put the orange clock in the kitchen? Because it's food themed. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just winging it. Okay, this thing seems like it could be good underneath the uh, the window here. Oh my God, this is like classic Ikea shelving. Even down to like the back and the holes and the, what? Look at the holes on the top and in the sides. How much detail is in this thing? That's kind of scary how detailed it is. The dog has been invited to have breakfast with us. I like it. Oh my God, no. What if they have like a class hamster? The creepy thing about the fact that there's a hamster cage in this game is that there's actually hamster villagers. Like we could very well be decorating this house for a hamster right now. And then there's also a hamster cage item. Something about that is not right. <laughs> Something's kind of messed up about that, but that's not my problem. I'm not a hamster. Okay, I'm looking for a little table. Hon honestly, this wooden mini table was probably for the best. I did this so I could have froggy chairs. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put a puzzle on that little table. I kind of like the idea of there being a puzzle out, although some of these are kind of weird puzzles. How old are the daycare kids? How much is too much? I think I'm thinking about this too much because there's not actually daycare kids. <laughs> like no one's gonna be here at the daycare. Maybe I'll put some arts and crafts out. We can pretend they were doing painting. I think I'm gonna put the book thingy over here in the corner. I might put the teddy bear. Oh, stay away. Oh, there's too much stuff. It's stressing me out. Put the teddy bear like kind of in front of next to it. Mm. Another problem I have with this is that it's really hard to find stuff in this dumb catalog. Like it's not organized well. It's sort of random and it's organized by like furniture and decorations. So there's like basically just a big and small category and that's how they're separated, which is not the easiest thing to to go through. Okay, I'm gonna put this mobile above the, the little crib. Oh my God, look at all the options. I wanna keep the hot air balloons actually because it kind of reminds me of some of the decorations in The Sims. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Okay, this is a little thing full of teddy bears. I feel like we'll need that. I wish that the dollhouse was on an angle. Does that make sense? Like, I kind of wish that we could um, have the dollhouse angled out instead of just there. However, unfortunately, this is Animal Crossing, so not gonna happen. Put the robot on there, maybe. Those are some cute toys in the corner, right? Oh my God, look at all the colors. I think I wanna use that one. I feel like I need to put a tall bookshelf or something. Maybe tall bookshelf isn't the best when there's children involved, but it's, it's mounted to the wall, so no one's gonna pull it off, don't worry. <laughs> okay, oh, I put the creepy doll in the bed. Ooh, I didn't know you could do that. Okay, what else should we put? I'm trying to go through all the daycare items. I mean, maybe like a couple more daycare beds would be good. Like maybe if we had a couple race car beds. Oh wait, I don't want that in front of the window. Oops, it's too tall. <laughs> I don't want to block the window. I also don't want to turn windows off in here. Oh, this is a mess. Oh, it's a mess. Big mess, big mess. Okay, change the colors of these race car beds. Maybe one can be green and the other one can be... Honestly, I like the pink one. That's cool. Okay, what if this... Oops, what if this guy was... Oh, so annoying. I can't rotate anything. What if this tall thing was on this wall? Let me put all the bears together in the little bear corner. The bear corner is kind of blocking the crib, isn't it? Well, maybe that's okay because no one wants to look at the scary little doll. Unfortunately, that stupid crib has to be in here because it's one of the requirements. I guess the doll doesn't have to be in it, but I kind of liked the doll in the crib. It was kind of funny. 
We can always put the puppy in the crib. No, the doll's better. I would way rather have the doll in the crib than the puppy. The doll is absolutely funnier. Can I put the doll like on the beds too? Darn, I was hoping I could. <laughs> well, there are some more toy items. Like we have this wooden block toy. That could be good to put up here. And it comes in some fun colors. Okay, and then maybe I figure out a way to get a couple more posters above the beds. Is that as close as I can get them to each other? Oh dear. Okay, multiplication tables? <laughs> no, I can't do that. Well, maybe if I put the letters and the multiplication tables together above the beds, and then I picked something else to put on the other wall. Like a map. No, they're like three. They don't know what that is. <laughs> I feel like the bulletin board's a good one though. Oh, maybe I should switch it because they're like three, right? No way they're gonna do times tables. But the bulletin boards have a couple of different styles. That's kind of realistic for a daycare wall. I'm gonna be honest, besties. I'm trying to rearrange this little play area because I don't like it. <laughs> Maybe that's better. You can put a shirt on the bears. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, here's something interesting. We don't have to put like all the toys necessarily in neat places, you know? Like there can kind of just be toys out, sort of like pretending that the kids have been playing with them, which kind of works. I think it's kind of cute. I like this room. This is one of the my better ones, I feel like, that I've done. Oh my God, did that beep when I got in it? Wait. <laughs> Oh, I did! I've never used the race car bed. That is a first for me. Okay, both of you shoot so I can get a screenshot. I need to make like the, the photo that you see when you come to visit. <laughs> I think it's really cute. I'm proud of this one. Oh, your vacation home's ready, Marcy. It is. Her name is Marcy. I was right. Mostly I just want her to hurry up so she'll pay me. Oh, I think it's cute. Look at the playing! Oh! Okay, maybe I like them. Maybe I like the kangaroo. All right, that wasn't a very good angle. Neither is this one. <laughs> okay, lamp. It's interesting to see what they, they choose to feature in this, I'm not gonna lie. Also, this is technically her house, by the way. This isn't like a community lot. This is Marcy's home. Okay, I'm going to head back though, Bessie, because I want to be paid because there's stuff I want to buy. Sorry. Another job well done, 12,000. Thank you, pay up. Oh, you're gonna clean up the office? I'm not accepting any vacation home requests while I'm busy, so why not go enjoy a well-deserved break? What? You should go say hi to Nico. He got back a moment before me and went straight upstairs. Okay, well, can I say hi to him after I buy my stuff? I need to get my bench before I forget. I'm scared I won't be able to afford this. <laughs> 18,900? Oh, okay. I'll have to do some more decorating today. Fine. Oh, may I help you? How long have you been standing there? You're working on a new DIY recipe? Yeah, I've done DIY projects. Could I tell you about all of the ones I've done? Yeah, I'll give you every single one. Is this how I'm gonna unlock all my DIYs to use in my decorations? Okay. Ever thought about using some of that DIY furniture in my vacation home designs? Okay, cool. So basically in this game, you can buy furniture, right? As we've seen, but you can also craft craft stuff like obviously tools, but you can also craft a lot of furniture. And I assume that I have unlocked the ability now to use all of my DIYs, which is fun. I don't want to talk to her. She's going to be mean to me. I've got an idea. Using DIY crafted items when you're designing vacation homes. Now there's an idea. Yeah? Appreciate it if you limit yourself to items you've crafted at least once before. Oh, I have to craft things now. <laughs> oh, whatever. That's fine. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like Animal Crossing, I mostly post Sims content on my YouTube channel and I'm gonna keep posting Sims content on my YouTube channel, but I do stream Animal Crossing all the time on my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash lilsimsy. And I've also streamed Animal Crossing many times before on Twitch. And so I have literally hundreds of hours, hundreds of hours <laughs> of Animal Crossing on my second channel. It's called More Simsy. Oh, I learned a recipe for vine garland. Show me. Ooh, that is pretty. Okay, good to know. I'll be, I'll be using that one, I think. Okay, but <laughs> I think I'll stop bugging you with my Animal Crossing right now. Thank you for putting up with me playing Animal Crossing another day. I won't do this all the time, but sometimes it's nice. Sometimes you need this. And with that being said, I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. I love the music in this game. It's just a nice vibe.